Welcome back to Living Local, and thank you for tuning in with us today. So you see her post about breaking news and other things going on in the community on ourquadcities.com, and of course, her movie reviews on Local 4 News. So veteran reporter Linda Cook has another passion that involves some furry friends, and we get to learn all about that today. And so she's here with us in studio with a special guest named Iris for our next installment of Living Local Show and Tell series. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being here. I'm a little less scared than she is today. Yeah. This is a lot for her. Iris is going through a lot, but please tell us all about Iris. She is so, so sweet. Look at her face. Well, oh I, I always say she looks like a schnauzer. She has the color of a schnauzer. And uh, I've actually had people come up to me to say at the vets, they'll say, what is that? Is that a rabbit? Is that a puppy? What <laughs> is that? Dog, yeah, right. And this is an English uh, Angora. We, uh, we've had a lot of rabbits um, through our marriage, and Iris um, is one of the most loving rabbits that we've ever had. I think people forget about rabbits. They think of them, you know, as, as prey animals or pests sometimes, mm -hmm. but um, there are people who love them, and a lot of us, there are thousands of us who belong to the House Rabbit Society, which is a real group founded in 88 mm -hmm. for people who have a passion for these little animals and want them to get the best of care and want to help the people who love them take good care of them. Yeah. So uh, people don't always know what to feed a rabbit. They forget that they're vegetarians, right? And they need to eat hay. They need to have a lot of water. And um, different rabbits um, at stages of their lives need different kinds of food. But right now, Iris, is uh, she eats Timothy hay, mm -hmm. and she drinks a lot of water. And once or twice a week, she gets a treat. And I thank you for giving her an apple core, Michaela. Yes, we gave her an apple core here earlier. And she, she hasn't touched it yet, but no. you know. I'm sure she will after the camera. I'm sure off. she will too. Yes. Yes. Now, we, how old do you think Iris is? We think she's about five. Okay. She's a rescue. And um, we we brought brought her to our home in March three years ago. So there's always a period of, of you know, adjustment for the animal for you, whether it's a guinea pig. She's starting to throw her fur now. She's a little <laughs> bit scared. That's what they do. So, um, but she's, she's pretty, she's being pretty good. No, she's being awesome. Um, so we didn't know what toys she liked. We didn't know what her favorite treat was. We just discovered a week ago that she likes apricots, oh. um, which you can't feed them too much sugar. It's not good for them. And carrots, believe it or not, are not, they're full of sugar. So you can't give them too many. But rabbits like people are born with kind of a sweet tooth, so you have to keep them away. She knows where her treat drawer is. She knows uh, about the time of day that she's likely to get a treat, and she will sit up and beg like a dog. I was going to say, if you were to compare a rabbit to a, a pet that somebody may have, uh, would it be a cat or a dog? But does well, it depend? Well, it depends. And the thing is, these are chased by cats and dogs. So, so if you think about it, this is a prey animal mm -hmm. who's going to act afraid in certain situations. Mm -hmm. Her instinct tells her there's a bright light, there are a lot of people, go under something. There's mm -hmm. nothing she'd like more than to get under our chairs right now. And just hide. And just hide. Yep. And people want to cuddle them, mm -hmm. but they really don't like to be picked up because that means an owl, think about that, a prey animal, escape from whatever's grasping you, right? Mm -hmm. So once you learn their language, it's a lot of fun to communicate with them. And she really does know how to communicate. She knows, for example, that there are things off limits in the house. Mm -hmm. So when she wants attention, we may be watching a movie or we may, not, we may be talking to each other instead of paying attention to her. She will run over to that area and either pretend to or bite at something she knows is off limits. She's very smart, yep. and she has a great sense of humor, but she loves attention like a kid does. Just like a little mm -hmm. kid, absolutely. Well, I do want to talk a little bit more about the House Rabbit Society. How did you get involved in that? I read about it online, and when, I, when we got our first rabbit, which we got from the Humane Society, mm -hmm. I really didn't know what I was doing. So I researched and found them and then became a member. I've gone to conferences, House Rabbit Society conferences, believe it or not, the last one that I went to was in San Diego, uh -huh. where people, we, there are seminars and you meet people from all over the world who talk about rabbits. There were people from Japan and Germany there at that one. Oh, it was wonderful. really interesting. So we have 
shelters in different parts of the world. Um, some people run shelters on their own, but there are people who just love these little animals and want to get the word out internationally. Yes, absolutely. And of course, there are people that would hopefully want to give them a home too. If there is somebody who wants to get a rabbit but has never had one, what's your advice to them? Go to rabbit.org. Okay. It is so easy to remember, rabbit.org. And there is everything. There are YouTube videos. There are guides. There, there's text. There's pictures everything you can think of it's all free and it will help you learn what to do for your bunny and when your bunny gets sick okay fantastic really good info there and thank you so so much for bringing iris by it's been so nice to meet you iris <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, you Linda. always good to see you now if you have a news tip or you want to talk about movies or rabbits with linda you can find her over at lcook at whbf.com and we'll also have those details posted over on our website at ourquadcities.com more living local when we return